Hello, this is Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools and I'm going to show you how to create a connection to Salesforce.com from SharePoint using VCS Metaman. The first thing we need to do using Salesforce.com is create a connected app and that connected app provides us with the interface in order to be able to authenticate with Salesforce.com via VCS. Once we've created the connected app, we'll then go through and configure the secure store service application to handle the authentication from within inside SharePoint and also we'll be building our model file using VCS Metaman which will pass through the credentials using the secure store target application through to the salesforce.com environment. And once we've done that we'll be able to preview the data and start to deploy our VCS model file to SharePoint and then begin to use the data with inside an external list or the web parts etc. So the first thing we need to do, as I mentioned, is go to salesforce.com and you need to make sure that your salesforce.com is a developer trial or you also have the developer tools installed. You will then go to setup in the top right hand corner and underneath build on the left hand side under the quick launch we will expand create and click on to apps. Within the apps page, you'll notice there is a section called connected apps at the very bottom and we're going to go through and create a new connected app by clicking onto the new button. So we're going to provide this with a name. I'm going to enter a contact email address. We are also going to provide en enable the OAuth settings and we're going to set a callback URL and that callback URL I'm going to set as localhost slash callback. We also need to provide some permissions to our app so what we're going to do is allow access uh, to and from and to manage our data using the API so we'll select that permission and then we'll scroll down towards the bottom of the page and click on to save. Now that we've done that we're going to be provided with a consumer key which you can see here so I'm going to open up notepad and I'm going to take the consumer key and copy and paste that into notepad so that I'm retaining a copy of it and we're also going to keep the consumer secret and for that we need to click the link that says click to reveal so we'll click that to reveal the secret and we'll copy and paste the secret into my notepad file as well so we have that handy when we come to set the values for our secure store service application and also within VCS Metaman as well One area that is often overlooked is by clicking on to manage within inside our connected app and looking at the IP relaxation setting under the OAuth policies. If we click on to edit policies, we need to click the drop down and choose relax IP restrictions. Otherwise, often you'll get a 400 bad request. So I'll click on to save and that would allow us to connect successfully using OAuth. So the next stage is to create the secure store service application. So I'm going to go into SharePoint Central Administration. And within SharePoint Central Administration, we navigate to the secure store service application. I'm going to click on to new to create a new managed target application. We'll provide it with a target application ID. So I'm going to call mine Salesforce users. And I'll provide it with a contact email address and we're going to set the type to group. Once we've done that, we'll click next. And we're going to set the field names to username or Salesforce username and Salesforce password. And the field type are going to be set to username and to password. And we'll click on to next once more. 
And here we can go through and set who the administrator is of this target application. And we can also set the members, i.e. the people, the users that are allowed to be authenticated using this secure store target application. With that created, we will go through and set the credentials. So I'm basically going to select the Salesforce users secure store application and we'll click on to set and I'm going to provide it with the Salesforce username and the Salesforce password for my account. And we'll click on to OK. The next thing we're going to do is create another target application and this is going to be the Salesforce underscore connected app we'll again provide an email address and we'll set the type to group and we'll click next and this time we want to have the fields of consumer key and also consumer secret. And we will set these to username and password. Once more, we will set the account to administer this. As well as the users that can be authenticated via this target application. Once that's been set, we will go through and select the connected app target application and click set. And we're going to provide it with the consumer key and also the consumer secret, which we have in the notepad file. So we can simply go through and copy and paste that, being sure that we don't include any spaces when we hit copy. And now we can click on to OK. So that information has now been provided. The next thing we're going to do is go into BCS Metaman. And the BCS Metaman Salesforce authentication section is in two parts. The first part is purely for BCS Metaman to authenticate against Salesforce.com. But once the model is generated, then the secure store service application user and consumer application information needs to be passed through to the BDC model file. So we're going to first of all just simply authenticate. So I'll enter my username and password. And once more, we're going to pop in the consumer key. as well as the secret. And then we're going to pass through the name of the secure store ID for both the user and also for the connected app. So we have Salesforce underscore user and Salesforce underscore connected app. And we'll just flip through to make sure that, that is correct Salesforce underscore users so we'll hit connect and you'll notice now I can start to access the different tables with inside my salesforce.com environment as I scroll down I can go through and select uh, a table such as contact drag that and drop that onto the design surface here 
and this provides me with the different methods so I can have the finder and the specific finder method uh, as well as the creator, updater and deleter method if I want to be able to write back and the ID enumerator if I want to be able to search contacts using the SharePoint search site. So now we can click on to create and there's the entity on the design surface uh, we can click on to the icon in the top right hand corner and sure enough we can see the data previewed from salesforce.com and now we can go ahead and deploy that to my SharePoint environment. So one thing I just wanted to reiterate is the Relax IP settings. So this is something that, like I say, is quite often overlooked. So this is the field here, the IP relaxation, and it's set to Relax IP restrictions. So I'm going to click on to edit policies here and change that to enforce IP restrictions and we'll hit save and let's try and authenticate with Metaman again so as I click onto the execute button notice this time we get an error with the 400 bad request and that's something that quite often our customers see so by going through and relaxing the IP settings we are now able to authenticate. I hope this was useful, many thanks.